Tommy Halloween. This is Jared Sean. I'm going to read the Berenstain Bears Trick or Treat. So listen up and I'll tell you all about it. Even the little bears expect a good fright when they go out for treats on Halloween night. The sights and sounds of autumn were all around as Mama Bear pushed her shopping cart along the path that led to the Bear's family tree house. The trees and shrubs were ablaze with color. Farmer's pumpkins stood bright orange in the October sun. The crows called noisily as they searched the stubble for bits of corn. Wild geese in great V formations hung high in the sky as they flew south. But the surest sign of the season was inside the treehouse, hiding behind Papa Bear's easy chair. It was Papa Bear waiting to drown his Halloween costume on Mama. It wasn't Halloween yet. But Barbara and Sister couldn't wait to try on the new costumes. Sister was going to be a beautiful ballerina. Well, what do you think? She asked, taking the third position. Shh, said Barbara. Mama's coming. Barbara had chosen to be a spooky monster on Halloween. He bought the spookiest monster mask he could find. And Mama made the rest of the costume. Pooh! He shot as Mama came in with the groceries. Help a monster! She cried, pretending to be frightened. It's only me, Mama, he said, showing his face. So it is, said Mama. Well, that just goes to show that appearances can be deceiving. Appearances can be deceiving? What's that mean? asked Sister. It's just a grown-up way of saying things aren't always what they look like, explained Mama as she unpacked the groceries. Look, goodies, said Robert. Hands off, please, said Mama. Those are for trick or treaters who come to our house tomorrow night. Robert and sister were very excited about Halloween and a little nervous, too. This was the first year they would be going to a dream without a grown-up along to supervise. I'm not so sure that I like the idea of them going by themselves, said Papa, as he caught the pumpkin he got from Farmer Ben. It's pretty spooky out there, he added, making a scary face at the cubs. Now, Papa, said Mama, if brother and sister want to accept the challenge of going out on their own, I think we should encourage them. But remember, she could say new turn to the cubs. There will be strict rules. You will stay in your own neighborhood, and you won't eat any of the treats until you're back home. Besides, said Robert, we won't really be our, by ourselves. We may have the treat date with Cousin Verity, Lizzie Bruin, and Queenie and Big Bear. There, said Papa, pulled him the finishing touches on the tackle lantern. Then he lit a candle inside and turned out all the lights. It was pretty scary. The next day, brother and sister began planning the trick-or-treat route they followed that night. Brother got a pencil and paper and made a map of the neighborhood. That way, he explained, they wouldn't miss anybody. Let's see now, he said. We'll stop at our houses first, ours, Freddy's, Lizzie's, and Queenie's. Then we'll do Fire Ben's and his sister, and our sister's Mrs. Grizzle. Mrs. Grizzle for sure, agreed sister. She usually makes friends with Halloween cookies. And Teacher Jane, she gives out the good stuff. How about Dr. Grizzly? As brother, she didn't get house snacks. I think so, just to be polite, said sis. Rams and ran, of course. Of, of course. I tell you, one place we are going to miss, said brother, on his map. What place is that? asked sister. That one, he answered, pointing out the window of the home of old Mrs. McGriz. It was a spooky, twisty old tree house in a thicket at the end of Crooked Lane. We're going, we're definitely not going in there, he added with a shiver. Why are we not? asked Mama, who was listening. Why not? said the gods, because she's a witch, that's why not. What are nonsense? protested Mama. True, Mrs. McGregor's old and bent, and rare for being looking. But I can assure you she's a perfectly nice person. But the gods didn't believe her, not for a minute. They knew better. Everybody knew better. No doubt about it. Miss, Miss McGriss was a witch for sure. Just at the dark, a pirate skeleton and the wicked queen from Snow White came from brother and sister. They were Freddy, Lizzie, and Queenie, of course. 
and together they ventured out into the darkness with their trick or treat bags. Before they could get started collecting Alan goodies, they were joined by some worrisome company. Two tall Grizzly and his gang out for mischief. Two tall didn't waste any time trying to get brother, sister, and their friends to go home with him and his gang. Come on, we'll show you. Goody, goody, it's how I was really having fun, he said, pulling a brother along with him. What's our fun? asked Brother Wherely. Oh, you might say we're going to put the trick back in the trick or treat, he said, chuckling. It was so darn that Brother and the bars didn't know where they were heading. Hey, he said, sister, this is a crooked lane. That's right, said Two Tom. We're going to play for tricks on old witch mid, mid Grizz. What's our tricks? asked Brother Hearn. Her gnarled, twisted old treehouse loomed ahead. First, whispered Two Tap Tall, taking a roll of toy paper from his jacket. A tad break her house with a little of this, then maybe we'll tie a few knots under her clothesline. Then smear some honey on her broomstick so she'll sit to it when she tries to fly. But before Two Tall and his dang could start the mischief, the front door opened and a bright yellow light stabbed the darkness. And then in the doorway stood the front new figure of Old Miss Mid Frizz. Aha! Uh -huh, she said in a rather voice, I'm ready for you! She then led the ter terrified cubs into a cozy living room. To the great surprise, there was a big tray of beautiful candy apples, all prepared for Halloween visitors. Mama's right, whispered sister to Rubber. Miss McGrath really is a sweet kind of old person. The cubs thanked her for the beautiful apples and went about the rest of their trick or treat business. Later that evening, brother and sister were at our home. Looking over all the treats they had collected, the beautiful candy owls stood out, and Papa asked where they came from. But Miss McGriss, answered brother, from that scary looking old gross puss that lives down Crooked Lane, said Papa. I find, said brother, taking a delicious bite of his candy apple. You must really try to remember, Papa, said sister, giving her apple a little lick. That parents can be quite deceiving. The end. Now, happy Halloween, that's very unbearable.